Hi, food friends. It is Kevin. And Marianne. And here we are back in the kitchen. And this is a special uh, tribute to my friend Hans. Uh, Hans is a friend of mine who I never actually met, but we're in a club together or a, um, an online community together. And Hans uh, comes from a little town in North Carolina. And my dear friend Hans sent me, check this out. Isn't this the cutest little thing? This is a 1954 Westinghouse hand mixer. So Hans, I want you to know that I, we're using it. And we're not just using his hand mixer, we're also going to prepare a recipe today for prune cake from Miss Betty Frizor. So Betty Frizor was a uh, home uh, economist who had a local uh, TV show in North Carolina and I think in other places perhaps as well. But anyway, she had some great recipes. And Marianne, tonight we are making prune cake. That's right, it's all about the prunes. We love prunes. Um, and particularly for people who might be Polish, prunes are a way of life. Uh, so uh, prunes are good. And we're all about the prunes. And we're going to make a prune cake tonight um, with uh, a little guidance from our friend Betty Frizor. So this is an old recipe, but you know what? We find it time and time again here on Cavalcade of Food. The old recipes are the best often. So um, let's uh, get going. So here's what we've got. We started with one and a half cups of sugar. And to that we're going to add a cup of vegetable oil. Listening to Tony Martin, live at the Copacabana. Also from, I believe, 1953 or 1954. All right, so we're going to blend this together. So now we're getting, you come in here, honey. We're going to bring the oil and the sugar together. You kind of see what's happening. a great little mixer. Hans, I can't tell you how much I'm loving it. Okay, so we've got our oil and sugar put together. Now we need three eggs. Here we go, we got our eggs. By the way, when you're baking, a lot of other things too, eggs are always best at room temperature. And, you know, if you don't have a half hour or 45 minutes to let the eggs get into temperature, just put them in a bowl of water for about five minutes. Not warm water, just, you know, water out of the tap, and it helps bring them up to temperature. So you know what, we're gonna put three eggs. So we've got our sugar, and we've got our oil, and we're gonna add our eggs. So here they go. One, two, three. Three eggs. eggs beat in there. Now while the eggs are beating, I'll tell you I've got a cup of buttermilk here. Okay? And that is actual buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk and a recipe calls for it, you can take regular milk um, and add a tablespoon of lemon juice or uh, vinegar. vinegar. Thank you. Um, and let it stand for about five minutes and it'll turn sour. And it's a good substitute. But this is about buttermilk. We're going to add that in there. We've also got two cups of flour. All right. So here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our dry ingredients, which is two cups of flour. I've got a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of allspice, and a half a teaspoon of um, nutmeg. nutmeg. Thank you. We're going to put that in there. Sister has a better memory than I do. We're also going to put in a teaspoon of baking powder. Soda. Soda. Thank you. What would I do, huh? Yeah, okay. You would be lost go. without me. That's it. That's or you would mess up the recipes. It's the sad truth. Okay. Now, what 
we're going to do is we've got our dry ingredients kind of blended together here. We're going to alternate uh, dry ingredients with the milk. So we'll put in a little of our flour, beat that in. Right, we, we scrape as we go. Then we're going to come back and add in a little bit of our buttermilk. Get that in. Okay. Now we're going to always turn it off from putting these dry ingredients in. A little bit more of our dry. We start it on low here. And so on until all the dry ingredients and all the buttermilk's used. And then we'll come right on back, all right? We're making a prune cake right here tonight. All right, we're almost done. We've been alternating dry ingredients and wet ingredients. We started with the dry and we're going to end with the dry. Um, and before I put the last of this little flour and spice mixture in, I'm going to put a little in my prunes, and I'll explain that in a minute. So, okay, so here we go. So we've got our buttermilk in, and now we're just putting in the last of our dry ingredients. This recipe also does call for nuts. Probably pecans would be nice in here we're not using them so actually I put in a little bit more prune I'm putting in about a cup and a half of prunes instead of a cup of prunes here's our batter check it out does that look good yes it does Hans this little mixer has just done a stellar job on this recipe okay so now Come on over here. I'm going to just toss. The prunes are really sticky. I chopped them. So we started with whole pitted prunes, and I've chopped them up. But I always like to put on these dried fruits, whether it's prunes or apricots or raisins or cranberries or what have you, I like to put in a little flour because it helps keep them separated so that they, because they are sticky just from the natural sugars in the fruit and I don't know if it's a wives tale or not people say it also helps prevent them from sinking to the bottom I've heard that baking. too I don't know if that's like I said that may or may not be the, true but anyways it does it does help prevent them from sticking together so okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our cup and a half of chopped prunes in and again, if you were going to put some nuts in, this is when you'd do it. We're also going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. So we're just going to stir all that together. We've preheated the oven to 375 degrees. And I'm going to get my pan prepared and we'll get the batter in the pan and off we go. Uh, the pan in this case is a 10 inch tube pan. I'm going to give this a spray and then we'll put it all together and get this baby in the oven. Given this a grease and flouring our 10 inch tube pan. Just use the spray that's what I do. We've got our batter. I'm going to give this one last stir. And in it goes, those beautiful prunes. And this needs to bake for uh, 45 minutes. Again, the oven's been preheated. 375 degrees. I'm loving this Tony Martin, who is still alive and in his 90s, and I guess periodically he does perform still in New York. Okay, 
So here we go. And it goes. We'll set our timer. 45 minutes. And we'll see you when we take it out of the oven. This also has a wonderful buttermilk icing that will go on top. So we'll do that too later. Our buzzer went off. We're going to take a look here. Oh, that looks nice. We got a nice spring back. There's our prune cake. Isn't she pretty? We're going to let that cake cool just for a few minutes before we attempt to take it from the pan. Um, and then we'll start our icing, okay? We are working on our buttermilk glaze for the prune cake. Here's what we've got. A cup of sugar. A quarter cup of butter, unsalted. <clears throat> um, this is, what, one half cup of buttermilk. And then we're going to put in a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're also going to put in a little vanilla here, half a teaspoon. Then we want to put in one tablespoon of light corn syrup. Okay. Here we are. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work this in. And basically we want this to get to... Um, so a softball stage which is 238 240 degrees so I'm gonna keep stirring and we're gonna wait for our ingredients to come up to temperature then we're gonna pour it over the prune cake which is still warm and it's only been out of the oven about 15 20 minutes so it's still plenty warm and then we'll be ready okay so we'll be back with our buttermilk frosting for our prune cake all right, we are there. Softball stage. So we're going to take our, our hot and we're going to pour this on top of our prune cake here. You can see it's just starting to almost harden. It smells like, well, caramel. It looks like caramel too. Mm -hmm. There you have it, folks. So, this is our prune cake with our buttermilk candied frosting. So, thank you, Hans, for the Westinghouse mixer and the great recipes from Betty Frazor. And thanks for everybody for being a part of this one. Go out and buy some prunes and make something good with it. See you next time. Bye.